Hi there. I've made like a hundred videos about power sets by now, but people keep watching them and this was a sort of cute viewer request, so I figured it was time to talk a little bit about power sets once again. We want to find the power set of the set containing the letters M, A, T, and H. You may notice that spells out the word math, which I'm pretty fond of. Now, the power set of a set is just the set of all of its subsets. And the process of finding a power set, I want you to know, does not depend on the stuff that's in the set. The only really important thing here is how much stuff is in the set. Here, we have four elements in our set, M, A, T, and H. We might be thinking of these things as letters, but they could really represent anything. M, A, T, and H could all themselves be sets, and the process that we're gonna go through would still be precisely the same. Because as far as we're concerned, whatever these things are, they're just elements of our set that we are taking a power set of. An important piece of information to keep in mind when you're finding power sets is to know how many elements your power set is going to have. How many elements will the power set of the math set have? Well, when we're making subsets, which are the things that go in the power set, for each element, we have two choices. Include it in the subset, or don't include it in the subset. So, the cardinality of this power set the cardinality of the power set of the set containing the letters M, A, T, and H is 2 to the power of 4 because there are four elements and for each of them we have two choices included in a subset or don't include it in a subset that means there are 2 to the power of 4 total possible subsets and all of them will be in the power set 2 to the power of 4, by the way, is 16, so we're in for a little bit of a painful exercise here to find all 16 of those subsets. But that's all we've got to do now. All we've got to do is find all 16 subsets of our math set, put all of those subsets into one big set, and that, by definition, is the power set. So let me erase this, because we're gonna need some space, and we'll get into it. I'll also leave some relevant links in the description if you need some more introduction to power sets. All right, so I'll just talk you through my process to find all the subsets that go in the power set. First, I'm going to open up with a nice big set bracket that's opening up my power set. Again, the power set just contains all of the subsets. Just gotta find all the subsets of this guy. First, I'm gonna worry about the subsets with zero elements, of which there's only one, the empty set. And so I'll write the empty set like that. I could write it with set brackets and nothing in between them, but I'm gonna have enough set brackets as it is that that's the symbol I'm gonna use for the empty set. Now, I'm going to worry about all of the subsets that have a single element. We took care of the subsets with zero elements. Now I'm gonna worry about one element. And I'm gonna switch colors here as I go just to hopefully make it easier to see where the sets are separated. So what subsets are there that contain only one element? Well, those subsets could include the element M, like this one here, or they could include the element A, or they could include the element T, or the element H. There are four total possibilities. The subset including M, the subset including A, and so on. I'll skip to when I'm done. There we go. We've taken care of all of our subsets with zero elements and all of our subsets that have one element. Now, I'm gonna worry about the subsets that have two elements. Going in this step-by-step -step manner helps me to keep my thoughts orderly and make sure I don't miss anything. Now, what subsets have two elements? Well, we could have the letters M and A, so I'll start with that one. 
We could also have the letters M and T, and so I'll put that one next. Or we could have the letters M and H, so I'll put that one next. Now I'm running out of space here, so I'll have to start on this next line. What's the next subset with two elements? Well, the next one I'm going to look at is the one that has A and T. A and T. Then I'm going to look at the subset that has A and H. And then the last subset with two elements is the one containing T and H. Remember, subsets are just sets whose elements all belong to the original set. Now we've taken care of all the subsets with zero elements, all the subsets with one element, all the subsets with two elements. Let's move on to the subsets with three elements. And again, I'm going to switch back to red just to help you read all of this. What's the first subset that you think of that's got three elements? I'm just going to look at the first three letters, M, A, and T and write that subset, the subset containing M, A, and T. All right, what's next? Well, how about the subset containing M, A, and H? Notice I'm trying to think through all of these in a very logical pattern so that I don't miss any of them because I really don't want to have to read through these after the fact and try to figure out which one I missed. So that's M, A, and T. Now let's do the one that has M, a and H. And then what? Well now let's do the one that has say M, T and H. M, T and H. And I'll have to go to the next line again. Next I think the last subset with three elements is this one that has A, T and H. So I'll write that one next. All right, all that's left now are the subsets that have four elements. And I'm in for a nice easy ending because there's only one subset that has four elements since the original set itself only has four elements. So my final subset is the set itself. Recall that every set is a subset of itself. So here's my last subset. It's the one that has four elements, the letters M, A, T, and H. Let me rewrite that M. There it is. Am I done? Have I got all the subsets? If these are all the subsets, then by definition, this is the power set, as long as I, you know, close my set off. How can I check to be sure? Well, originally, like we said, the power set should have 16 elements because this thing has 16 subsets. That was 2 to the power of 4. 4 is its cardinality. So the power set should have 16 elements. Let me count and see if we have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Done. So big takeaways. How do you find the power set of a set? First, identify the elements of your set. In this case, it's pretty easy. They're just letters, but you'll probably deal with some messier sets than this. Identify the elements and make sure you know how many you have. In this case, we add four. Then two to the power of that number of elements tells us how many subsets there are which is the number of elements in the power set. And I'll keep that number in mind as I finish the exercise. Then you just want to write out all of the subsets in an orderly fashion so that you don't miss any. Put them all in one big set and count them to make sure they match that, what was in this case, two to the power of four number to make sure that you didn't miss any of the subsets.